It's Wii U Volution, baby. You know I still want to collect some Wii U games, so let's talk about what we're getting here lately. And before we get started, I hope you're going to drop a like on the video, and I hope that you're going to subscribe to Mern Nation. Make sure that you hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload so much action coming your way that you will not be able to stand it. Let's get started with more Wii U Volution. So a while back before all this stay home business, you know, we headed out to the GameStop because I had some coupons to burn up. There were two $5 ones. Yeah, that's right. One from my points and one from a birthday or I don't know, something. But anyway, $5 off. What are you going to get with that, right? Wii U games. Come on, it's Wii U Volution, right? I said we were going to be doing this all year. There's going to be Wii U content, stuff to look at, stuff to talk about, and lots of games still left to acquire. I'm far from a full set of Wii U stuff. And beyond just that huge goal, if it even is one, there's a lot of Wii U adventures out there still to be had, still for me to be had, that I didn't have, you know? And we, I mean, we had tons of them, but there's tons more to have, and it's on the cheap. We've talked about this as a buyer's market right now. Let's get out there. So the Wii U display is on Skid Row. They got it on a gondola in the middle of the floor, and, you know, that's fine. I know right where to go to see it. Giving it a quick once over, there's really no good Wii stuff, that, you know, not for a price I'd pay, but uh, yeah, there, there's some Wii U stuff here. In fact, the one game I was really hoping to get today is here, and it is in fantastic condition. We're talking about Hyrule Warriors. Am I a Warriors guy? Absolutely stinking not. Am I a Hyrule Warriors guy? I don't know. I never wanted to pay $60 to find out, quite frankly. And I'm pretty sure that's how much it still is on the Nintendo Switch. I'm sorry. It's just not deserving of a price tag that high at this point in time, regardless of what you thought of it when it came out. But I want to play it. It's first party goodness that I obviously don't yet own. So, you know, here it is, and it's only 10 bucks. So that's on the higher end of what I'm willing to spend on a Wii U game, but it's, you know, come on, it's Zelda in some form or fashion. So we're definitely going to be picking this up. Again, I'm not a Warriors game guy, but this game nods at the original NES Zelda with some of the in-game activities. And as a Zelda game, it feels wrong not to own it. I mean, I'm hoping that this may get me to give Warriors games a third or is it a fourth? Look, I don't know, I lost track. They just never gripped me. Looking back to the PS2 era ones that, you know, I saw and played a lot of, I don't know. My first reaction when this game was announced was, nobody asked for this. And you know, I stand by that today, but it's here and I've avoided it long enough. Next, I got eyes on this Adventure Time game, and it's one that I've thought about since it came out because of all the hubbub around it. Not because I'm a fan of the show, and if you like the show, cool. I'm not saying I got a problem with the show. I'm just saying I've watched it a few times, and I, could, I don't get it. But here's this game that everyone's like, oh, it's like Zelda, man. It's like Zelda. Oh, come on. Everything's like Zelda. Stop. But, okay. I mean, it looks like it has some... Uh, you know, Diablo-y qualities to it. If there's any looting to go on, I'm, I'm instantly interested regardless of, you know, the theme he applied here. What's going on with this? It's a Wii U game. I don't have it. It checks a lot of boxes. There's a lot of reasons I would give $10 for this, and I'm obviously not going to give $10 for this too. I've got the coupons, right? So now I got to ask, do I want to get into this for $5? And I think that I do. So, Adventure Time, explore the dungeon because I don't know. And I do know that the general public opinion on this was that it's like Zelda. Everyone said it's like Zelda. Well, even though as a seasoned gamer I knew that had to be somewhat inaccurate, I still knew it meant RPG elements in general exist within this and that this had some Diablo-esque looter qualities to it, which made me want to play it despite not understanding one iota of the show. Sorry, I tried. I don't get it. And I clearly don't need to. This does have Diablo and Gauntlet qualities to it. Ain't a damn thing wrong with that. There's plenty to explore, plenty to unlock, and multiple characters means multiple ways to play and lots to do. This is easily worth $5 any day. There were a few others that I considered, but 
you know, we gotta leave something for a future episode, and we only have so many coupons. And you know, my three-year-old has been wearing out the Wii U since he discovered it, which is great, because I've been playing it a lot more too, but you know, I'm glad the kids are ready to have fun with this thing again, because it really was our family system for a long time. So here's a great copy of a great game that I know he's gonna love. Lego City Undercover. Chase McCain, baby. I mean, this was a killer game. This is arguably the best Lego game. They've done 8 million Lego Star Wars games, Lego this, Lego that. It gets to the point where, you know, I'm good. You know, I don't, I don't want to see any more of those. But this was so different. I mean, and I, I don't have to tell you. You know about this one. It's Lego Grand Theft, baby. I mean, this game is huge. I mean, it. I, mean, I guess if it suffers from anything on the Wii U version, and I'd have to check the Switch version, which you know is also overpriced, but the load times leave a little something to be desired. But other than that, this is a great game on the Wii U, and my God, you know, my son's having fun with it. So what a great game, and it's only $5 right now versus the port to the Wii U. What are we talking about paying for that? 40, 50 bucks? I just, I can't fathom that. You know, oh no, Switch is better. Well, maybe it's better, but when the same experience is only $5 over here, we're done talking. You've got to have a Wii U. I mean, why wouldn't you have a Wii U at this point? Wii U Volution, baby, get on it. I really struggled on this adventure time. I was like, man, I just don't know if I want this, but the more we talked about it, I was like, okay, I want to try it. And it's not going to cost us much to put on the shelf. I think we got two $5 coupons to burn up here. So we're paying $10 for Hyrule Warriors, $5 for Adventure Time, and Lego is going to be free. And you really can't beat it. 15 bucks for three games in a retail establishment, you know, $5 per Wii U game, that's pretty much top of the mark for me. If I see ones I don't have and they're $5 at a yard sale, I'll, you know, I'll pay that. I'll try to get it lower if I can, but $5 a piece at a GameStop, that's some really low-hanging fruit. And again, that's the purpose of these videos. Anybody out there that's just now getting their Wii U on, or like me, you're coming back to it like, man, I want to fill in some holes in the collection. Now's the time to do it, baby. They are getting rid of this stuff and eventually it's not going to be around anymore in those stores just to easily walk in and grab it you're going to be out in the wild hunting for it so all in all that was that that made for a fun day we got some good games to play on with the wii U evolution hey what do you think about all this are you a part of the wii U evolution do you have a wii U? are you planning on getting a wii U? are you wanting to play more of your wii U right now are there holes in your collection that you need to fill that you want to do that on the cheap you know that there is and again while that's while that while the, while, the, while the getting's good out there you've got to get out there and get some of these things some of them are still overpriced but even that's not going to last forever so i don't know i'm having fun with this and i'm having fun taking a look at games on this console that while i may have seen them i haven't actually got to play them before so that's what's neat about it let me know in the comment section of this video what games you're on the hunt for for your Wii U or any recent acquisitions you might have made that you're glad you got and how much you paid for them. You know that I love getting a conversation going with you right here on the show. I hope that you like this video. I hope you're going to drop a like on this video. It's important to drop likes on videos. You got to get these things visible so other people can enjoy them too. I hope you share it with a friend. And most importantly, if you have not subscribed to the MC Mer Show, I'm going to need you to subscribe to the MC Mer Show. I'll be a part of Mer Nation because we're rising up all the fantastic things we do right here on the show. You need to be a part of it. Make sure that you smack that notification bell so you're always the first to know when new content goes live because you know that I love making it for you. Fantastic stuff coming your way right here all the time. Love to have you involved in it. MC Mer signing off for this fantabulous Wii Evolution episode. And I will see each and every one of you again next time. Bye.